Cain is deified. The clans tell tales of him. Few know the truth. He was mortal once, as were we all. How you doing everyone? DMC back with another video. And this time we're bringing you... Games that deserve a remaster. And we're starting off this series with one of my all-time absolute favourites of the PS1. Soul Reaver. Which is the story of Raziel, who's a vampire that's... Right, do you know what? I'm not going to spoil that. See if you want to find that out. You can find that out yourself. But I'm here to tell you why this game deserves a remaster. Starting off, the voice actors alone. I'm going to take a look at Raziel, the main character. He's voiced by Michael Bell. Now, Michael Bell, if you don't know who he is, you will in a minute, because he probably voiced the majority of your childhood. <laughs> the man has been credited for over six centuries worth of voice acting work, and I'm not—I'm not kidding around. Over three hundred voice acting credits, scenes, acting. Oh, this man doesn't mess about. He's a hard worker. He's the definition of a hard worker. <laughs> but it's not just him. That's just one one name in the series. All of the voice actors in Soul Reaver are, you know what I mean, 10 out of 10. Like, as good as it can get. And you can tell because it comes across in the game. So that's just one aspect. That, you know, as time's changed, we just don't get voice acting like that anymore. Did you go find me a story game that compares dialogue-wise. I tell you, you'll find it very difficult. So yeah, voice acting beats anything that I've seen in a long, long, long time. Gameplay was ahead of its time. Now, obviously, with the setbacks of the PS1 and the way they scripted everything, you're sort of always tussling with the the uh, the camera. You're using your left trigger and your right trigger, or your R2, L2, to control the camera movement, which uh, is pretty dated nowadays. And fighting the enemies, you can't just directly kill an enemy in Soul Reaver. You have to throw it into the light, or you have to impale it in the first one. And so it's something they improved upon in the second one that they could easily, if they were to remaster, implement that system from the second one, and boom! And you got a nice overall game. So then, there's the story. Now the story, say what you want. For me, it's one of the few stories that manages to coherently and effectively get across the plot, as well as having big payoffs at the end of the games. Because I mean, this isn't just a one-two game series, do you know what I mean? This spans three, four, five games, and they manage to make that plot pay off perfect. And then also sort of leave us on a cliffhanger. Which uh, yeah, still upsets me to this day, but it is what it is. Maybe one day they'll continue. Which is another reason why it deserves a remaster. You remaster it, trust me, people will love it. I guarantee you people will absolutely love it. And us loyal fans from the start, we're finally able to get a payoff. We'll potentially be able to get that sequel that never happened. Out of hell would you throw yourself into oblivion to pursue me? Mobius trolls for the ignorant and unwary. So you now we've covered the story, the voice acting, and a little bit of the gameplay. But the characters in this game are something uniquely special to it. That, again, hasn't really been replicated in other games since. You know, because it's a game that's so good at putting across the point that there's no right or wrong, really. It's quite ambiguous as to who's good, who's evil, and it's not until, again, you finish every game that you, you finally get a whole picture there for yourself. And that's something that not a lot of games manage to do nowadays, they don't, they don't keep you going for the big payoffs anymore really. I think Gears of War, on the 360, that, oh, one, two and three, and then 
after that, I'm sorry to say, but subpar. Absolutely pathetic. There's coherence between all the games. Do you know what I mean? There's connection there between them all, and it's it is put together. Honestly, it's a masterpiece of just everything from storytelling, the voice acting, and even for the time. Do you know what I mean? The gameplay, the setting, everything. And that's why, in my book, if there's going to be a remaster of anything at any point in time, it has to be Soul Reaver. I don't mind if it's Soul Reaver 1, 2, whatever. Give us the whole collection. I'd be happy with that. But if you have to just remaster 1 to test the waters and see what the fan appeal is, please, I'm begging you. We need it. So yeah, I know this is uh, something a little different from what I usually do. And is there any games that you want to see remastered? Cause I'm going to try and make this a wee series where I'm going to be going through you know, games that mean something to me that I think deserve remastered. But if there's something there that, you know, you say it in the comments and I look at it and I think, do you know what? That actually sounds like it does deserve a remaster. I could potentially make a wee video on that as well. But yeah, until next time, I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure you leave a little like. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the wee bell so you get your notifications. And until next time, DMC out.